Hey people, Frank's in here. Uh, working on a scorpion for the weekend and uh, today's Sunday. Just plugging away at it. I'll show you what I, where I'm at on the tracks. So. That's half the tracks there. That's one track. Just about. I don't know how many are there. But right now, I'm drilling the holes. I just got one hole done yet done so far and uh, I still got this stack to go and I got all these one side drilled going pretty slow <laughs> show you how I'm doing it and just uh, got a drill press put a bracket on there and take the plate slide it in there this one's for support for the center of the track track plate uh, this is space to where it fits in between the two tire plates exactly so it doesn't move around that way I get an accurate hole for every plate and I have a, a master track which is the first one you do and then the rest after that should be exactly the same as this. Every now and then I slide this back in here, drop the bit down into the hole to make sure it goes in there right. And I'll do the same thing to the other side. You see the other side, I tapped it where the hole's supposed to be. I'll drill this first and then lock everything down and then go nuts with the rest of the track. And I still have to put the reliefs in before I get back to welding but I have all uh, 148 plates with the tires tire plates welded on so far after I get done drilling and doing the chain reliefs on the side back to welding which the next part would be the guide and then the cleats and the bolts Okay, I got a little handy uh, tool I'd like to share with you guys. Uh, okay, I'm drilling all those holes for my track plates with one bit. Uh, that's 300 holes. And anybody who does a lot of metal fabrication uh, pretty much knows a drill bit will probably last about 100 holes before it starts dulling. But I'm able to resharpen it. This is my most favorite tool and that's a drill doctor I bought this at Home Depot about 10 years ago after seeing a, a TV infomercial and I just had to get one uh, 10, year, 10 years ago for 80 bucks and what I do is pretty much bum old used drill bits off my friends and I resharpen them uh, this is uh, a basic model that I got from Home Depot. They had other models that had more adapters and more more stuff you could do with the drill bits. You could put the double edge on there. You could cut masonry bits like new. Or, but it keeps uh, a regular drill bit sharp cutting like brand new if you dull it. Um, just cutting through a lot of metal. It, halfway through you could stop and you could resharpen it and boom goes new again this will also if you break the drill bit in half uh, you could put a new tip on there this this part was part of this bit I snapped it trying to ream out the hole and I remember the infomercial saying oh you can put a brand new edge on there from a broken bit and that's what I did that's a brand new half inch bit from a broken one that's part of that's the actual part of the bit and I just put a new edge on it I just thought I'd share that this is my most favorite tool <laughs> okay Okay, I'll upload this video tonight and uh, update now and then as they come. So, any comments, rate the video, thumbs up or down. Uh, 
comment, subscribe. Thanks, man. Bye.